Greetings of Christ to you all. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, who made the heaven and the universe. I want to talk about love. The love of Christ is so powerful. Anyone who practices the love of Christ must receive whatever he or she has from God. People today keep praying, God gave me money, God gave me money, I want to be worthy, I want to be rich. But you don't have that love of Christ. How can you be rich? The love of God is the key to wealth, is the key to breakthrough, is the key to receive life partner, is the key to receive the fruit of the womb. Because this is what the devil is using to attack the children of God. The devil will promise you, come to me and I will give you all this. My dear, it is the devil that touches to get you. Jesus died for us because of the love he had for us. That is why he left his holy throne and come to this world and suffer and died for our sake. He rose from the grave because of the same love he has for us. That is the love he really wants us to practice. He really wants us to give to our neighbors, our brothers and sisters. That is the key to everything you have been asking God for. You must love one another just as the Father has loved you. Love is so important to God that He really wants us to practice it. He gave ten commandments. He divided ten into two. Love God and love your neighbor. The center part of it is what? Love. You are telling God, give me this, give me that. And you don't have love for anyone around you. That thing you can't have it. Now look at these animals. Themselves even love themselves. Look at the way they gather themselves. Different animals can stay together. But different humans can't live in a place without problem. Why all this? This is not the plan of God in our life. But we do this because of our own selfish interests. That is one of the reasons why we are suffering today in our world. This is not how God planned the world. We are suffering because men came to plan their own and leave the plan of God. Please, for you to receive riches from God, you must love. For you to receive life partner, you must love. For you to receive the fruit of the womb, you must love. Anything you need from God, don't ever forget love. If you love yourself, you can never kill yourself or destroy what belongs to your brother or to your sister. Love is so precious to God. It's like a treasure in the hands of God. That he really wants every one of us to obey and adore this word, love. If you love yourself, you will never harm yourself. Or do something that will harm your neighbor. Love. God really wants us to practice it. If animals like this can live together, then... Worry about human. We that God has given the key to take in charge over the animals. We can't live together. There is a problem. It's because we lack what? Love. Don't ever think that the animals that live together are fools. No. God has brought them together. Just the way he brought every human together. But now we are separating ourselves 
destroying the original plan of God in our life and in this world today. God wanted us to live in harmony, to live happily, to live in joy, to live in celebration. But the stupidity of human put us today. Look at the kids of Adam and Eve. Disobeying God's law. And today we are suffering. Because God sent them away from the garden. Garden filled with milk and honey. Where there is no hunger, there is no famine. No suffering, no hatred, no tears, no pains, no sorrow, no disappointment, no setback, no failure. But today, because of that small word, disobedience, God sent them away. And now we are suffering. And for we to put our head together to take away this suffering, to go to our knees and ask God for forgiveness, to bring back joy in our life today, now we are fighting ourselves. Which God are we going to cry to? Is it the God that wants us to live in harmony? Or that God in your father's land that is sending you to your grave? Jesus is the light, is the way, and is the key to every success. Is the owner of victory. Is the one that will make you be called victor. And he's telling you, love is so precious to him. Love. Go hard today. You see brothers killing brothers. Sister killing sister. Parents killing children. Children killing parents. This is not the original plan of God. God wanted us to live in harmony. He don't want us to be condemned in the everlasting fire. He covered us with the cloud, with his own garment, so that evil will not touch us. But yet, we go out there and welcome evil into our life. Please, go back to the original plan of God. And love. Love yourself. If the trees can love themselves, you see the trees, you see their leaves gather together and make a shade. And you, human, that refuse to love your second, you will go under the tree because you are looking for a shade and the tree will cover you. It takes them time to build themselves to get that shade. All the leaves gather together. Walk with the roots. This time, they walk together, walk in harmony. Why? Because they love themselves and they could bear or make a shade that you that refuse to love went to stay. Why don't you gather with your neighbors? Why don't you gather with your brothers? Why don't you gather with your sister and make a shade in your life and family? When you see the sheep, you see the leader at the front and the rest followed. In the same line, nothing can scatter them. They don't care. If they want to cross the road, what that car is coming, as long as the leader has crossed, every one of them must follow the leader. Why? Because of love. Love is not stupidity. You can't pretend love. You can't buy love. You can't acquire it. Love is given to you by God. It's in you. Bring it out. Don't allow the devil to suppress it down in you. When God made you, he placed that word, love, in you. But you decide to destroy us. You can't fake it. You can't pretend that you love someone to that person. That person must discover someday. A genuine love of God is everlasting. And nothing can break it. Please, my brothers. Please, my sisters. Love. 
Love can bring our world today. You are looking for words. You are looking for riches. You are looking for fruit of the womb. Love. Even though you didn't get every word I said, don't ever forget love. Love is the key to every success. I pray for you. I pray for your family. May that spirit of love that has been taken away from you be restored. You that your family is breaking. You that your family is departing. You that your family is about to collapse. I pray for you. May the love of God restore back your family. May the love of Jesus restore back your home. You that almost lost your marriage. I pray for you. May your marriage be restored. You that people promise money and they refuse to give it to you. I pray for you. May you receive it in the name of Jesus. May that yoke of difficulty in your life be uprooted in the name of Jesus. May all those who seize you, who promise you, may they remember you. May they remember that promise and redeem it in your life in the name of Jesus. You that your children are so stubborn that they refuse to listen to your word. I pray for them. May the love of Jesus arrest them and bring them to his vineyard in the name of Jesus. You undergoing one sickness or the other, I pray for you. May you receive healing. In the mercy of God, may it manifest in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray for you. I pray for your family. And I pray for our nation. May there be peace. May there be harmony. May there be love through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you.